Are collecting copper pennies actually worth your time? Well, we're gonna look at everything about copper pennies, the prices, and if you guys should pick them out of circulation from the bank or in coin jars that you may have, or maybe a coin collection that you inherited. You know, copper pennies do go back from, you know, 1982 and prior. So a 1975 penny is pretty common to find from the bank, and it's actually worth more than one cent because of its copper value. So let's just hop right into it here. So we're going to look at uh, first off this image here from Stack Bowers. Pennies or one cent coins from 1793 to 1837 are 100% copper. As you see, a 1793 one cent coin here on the screen. Now from 1837 to 1857, they are 95% copper with 5% tin and zinc. So there is an 1840 one cent coin that has that composition. Now, in 1857 to 1864, we have 88% copper pennies and 12% nickel. And here's an example of that, a flying one cent coin from 1858 or even an 1863 Indian head cent. Now there are also 1864 Indian head cents to 1963 Lincoln cents that have 95% copper with 5% tin and zinc. And then of course you guys know during the war for only one year only, 1943 one cent coins, wheat pennies were made of 99% steel and 1% zinc coating and absolutely no copper because they needed copper for the war. Now in 1963 to 1982, which we'll get to in a second, 1982 was the transitional year from mostly copper pennies to mostly zinc of what we see today in circulation. For 1963 to 1982, they are 95% copper with 5% zinc. Now 1982 was the transitional year. So in 1982, you got multiple different pennies. So you have large date and small date. Here's an example of large date and small date. I go more into depth in that in my 1982 penny video. So if you just type in 1982 penny couch collectibles, you'll get some more information on 1982 pennies. So we have the large date and small date. We also have copper and zinc examples in 1982. So zinc pennies weigh 2.5 grams after 1982. And prior to 1982, the mostly copper pennies, uh, Lincoln pennies at least, weigh 3.1 grams, all right? So there's how you tell the difference on mostly copper and zinc pennies on the modern coins, of course, not the 1700s and 1800s. Those are much larger uh, one cent coins than what we have in circulation today. But from 1982 to present, basically what they are 97.5% zinc with only 2.5% copper. So they're basically copper plated zinc. There's not much copper in pennies today. All right, so let's look at some copper pennies that are actually worth some money. And then we'll get into the price of copper. This first coin here is a 1944 wheat penny. Now, these are actually very common coins. However, in 1944, these coins are supposed to weigh 3.1 grams. Now, this is a mint error coin because the coin weighs 4.2 grams. Now, why would it weigh 4.2 grams? Well, it was actually struck onto a thick planchet. So the Lincoln cent design struck onto a thick planchet. That's what gives the coin its value. So the way to tell is to just weigh your pennies. If you find a wheat penny that weighs 4.2 grams, you probably want to have it graded. This coin sold for over $215 at auction because of it being struck onto a thick planchet. You guys want some free silver? I give silver coins away literally every single Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time on the WhatNot app. We put coins in front of the camera, we start it off at a dollar, and it sells for whatever it sells for. $3, $100, $5. If you guys wanna get in on the free giveaways, click that link in the comments below. I got my WhatNot link on there. You guys get $15 free credit. And you know what that means. You can go over there and get one of my books from my WhatNot shop absolutely free with your $15. 
$1,000 credit, or you can buy some silver. Silver and gold is on the rise. I mean, come on, you can't pass up getting $15 off a silver coin, or if you buy anything under $15, you get it absolutely free with your whatnot credit. So feel free to hit that link in the comments below. Sign up today, catch me Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. You don't even have to use the $15 credit on my live stream. You can go to any seller on whatnot. If you wanna buy purses, shoes, yard sale items, storage units, jewelry, coins, whatever you want, Pokemon cards, sports cards, you can buy it with your $15 credit. And I'll see you guys over there. Click that link in the comments below. Now we also have a 1945 wheat penny that is in, you know, pretty common condition. It's not rare to have this coin at all or even in this condition. Um, but if you have it in a very top grade, it can be valuable just like just about any coin. Uh, but for this coin in particular, it has a mint error that could easily be passed up if you're not paying attention to your coins. And you can really see it here on the reverse of the coin. This penny has been double struck. You'll see the lettering from the obverse of the coin here on the reverse of the coin. So it's been double struck and that design is flipped over. So always, always inspect your coins. If you guys watched my video the other day, I showed you modern coins from the 90s that can have double strikes that you can look for from the bank. This coin sold for $480 at auction. All right, here is a no dated coin, but they know it is for sure from 1959 to 1982. Why? One, because the coin weighs 3.1 grams and it has a Lincoln Memorial reverse. So in 1958, that was the last year of the wheat penny reverse. In 1959, they started using this Lincoln cent reverse design, right? And it weighs 3.1 grams, so we know it's not 1983 or higher. Uh, or more modern, I guess I should say. But this coin does have a brockage error and a die cap strike as well. So this coin sold for $288 as a result of those mint errors. Here's the same case. We got a Lincoln cent, no date because the error taking place, the brockage and the strike through uh, is not allowing us to see the date. And this coin is from 1959 to 1982, one of those dates in between. And this coin sold for $100 and $39 at auction. Here's another note dated, and they know this one here is from the 1950s because you can see the 195 of the date. This coin here has a tapered planchet. So in the 1950s, 1982 and prior, they are supposed to weigh 3.1 grams. This one here weighs 2.53 grams. It's not the correct weight for this coin. The coin isn't super valuable, but it's still sold for around $50 at auction in this condition. Now for the price of copper, if we look at the pennies prior to 1982 and even the copper pennies from 1982 that are 95% copper and 5% zinc uh, that weigh 3.11 grams, and we look at the price of copper, currently when I'm uh, filming this video, it will change, you know, if you're watching this video a year from now or uh, 10 years from now or whatever it may be, with the calculations of 95% copper being in these pennies, they are not worth one cent. They are actually worth double their value. They are worth two cents because of the copper value. And copper has actually been on the rise lately. Now, it's not like on the rise like gold and silver. You know, it's a much more affordable metal, of course. Uh, but this is double the value. So why not take all the copper pennies out of circulation? You're basically doubling your money just for the melt value. Now, I don't believe it's legal to melt down pennies for copper, but just to have them and to store them, you know that they have doubled their value and down the road, who knows, they might get rid of the penny and you might be able to cash it in for copper. Uh, you know, of course, us coin collectors, we don't want them to get rid of the Lincoln penny or the one cent coin in the United States like Canada did with their one cent coin, uh, but if they do, we know that they're gonna, you know, want people to cash those coins in and, you know, if you have the copper ones, they're gonna be worth more because the price of copper allows those coins to be worth double their face value of one cent. So 
It's really up to you if you want to spend the time collecting copper pennies or not. But if you want to learn more about coins and coin prices, mint errors to look for, feel free to check out the rest of the videos here on the channel. And don't forget to hit those links in the comments below if you guys want some more coin collecting supplies. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.